I'm gonna release it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> What's going on, gentlemen? Okay, so the other day I did a video where I was testing out the Smart Fit Universal Radio Ad Radiator Adapter. Uh, the universal set that comes with a whole bunch of adapters that you can hook up to any type of radiator or reservoir as long as the fittings fit and they pretty much fit anything. Um, and I used it to test a cooling system. A lot of the guys were saying that they didn't like this kit because sometimes what happens is that this uh, adapter will slip off when you pressurize it and then you lose pressure and you can't check anything. But I used it on that Ford that I did the other day, that 06 uh, Ford F-150 and I checked for leaks and I held pressure at 15, 16 PSI for about 15 to 20 minutes while I checked for leaks. Never had it pop off. And if it did pop off after like a minute or two, I probably would have been able to find the leak at that point. Um, so I was pretty confident with the use of the Smart Fit uh, Universal Radio Adapter, Radiator Adapter. Um, but a lot of the guys were saying, hey, can you use the adapter with my vacuum filler? They were asking if I could use the vacuum filler from Snap-on with the Smart Fit Universal Adapter. And I said, yeah, you can. Let me make a video on it. So I'm going to be showing you guys that I'm going to use my vacuum filler adapter with my Universal, with my universal Smart Fit Radiator Adapter set uh, to fill up this Nissan that I did a radiator on. Um, let's go. All right, gentlemen. So pretty self-explanatory. You put in the adapter, then you tie in down the top piece, and then the top piece will pinch this copper part uh, up against this rubber part and seal up the system. Um, I do have the, the correct adapter for this radiator, but I want to show that you can use this uh, universal adapter to uh, with the vacuum filler, no problem. I don't think we're going to have an issue. I never really ever even consider having a problem with this, with using these two, because like guys were saying, every time they pressurize it using the pressure tester, that's when they would pop off because of all the pressure. But since this actually creates a vacuum, I think it'll actually seal up even better. Uh, so I don't think we're gonna have any issues. But you know, it'll be nice to demonstrate uh, using a life, life test, life car uh, after repair. So today's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you guys had a great one. I did, <laughs> shit ton of food. It's like the best part of Thanksgiving. Uh, the second best part of Thanksgiving. The first part is ha hanging out with your family. The second part is the food. <laughs> okay, so we got it nice and tight in there. Okay, nice and tight. I did a video on the top uh, 10 tools that you need to cool for cooling system uh, repairs and diagnosis. And this and the adapter we're both part of it. Uh, definitely necessary. You know, somebody was telling me, Nestor, you still need like a fan clutch tool, you still need this, you still need that. And I said, yeah, that's, be well, that's, that's for like specialty stuff. You know, yeah, we're gonna need specialty tools for different cars, but generally I bust these tools out on every type of coolant repair that I do. Okay, go ahead and start it up. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I hear at least someone. That's not good. Leaking. 
Man, I think I think we have a leak on the cap, boys. God damn it! Look at this thing's leaking. You believe that? Okay. Yeah. Look. So when I uh, when I plug this up, there's pressure. It holds pressure. Right? Now look what happens. I'm holding pressure here. I know it's blurry, boys, but I have one hand. There we go. All right, so look, it's holding pressure here, right? I have my, have my hand over the radiator uh, reservoir, okay? I'm gonna release it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh shit, I ripped my gloves, Jesus. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I can help you. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. All right, look, now I'm going to hook this up, <laughs> hook up the cast, open it up. No pressure. Hey, hey. Yeah. Jesus. Okay. I'm going to get a new radiator cap. Uh, hopefully the parts are open. It's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I don't know if they're open or not. I came in just to finish this car up. So we're, I'm hoping they're open. If they're not open, then we're going to have to wait till Monday. But um, damn it. Anyways, let's see what happens. I'll be back. All right, gentlemen. So we got the, uh, we got the new caps. Everything's good. So we're going to test it out one more time and make sure everything's good. So let's... Um... All right, gentlemen. So we're going to switch the uh, filler to the reservoir because the cap is not sealing. I think it has a vent. Pressure vent. So um, I'm gonna switch it over. So I do have the right adapter for this car, but I definitely wanna show you guys is this this thing does work with um, with the refiller. I think it's very important that you guys see that too because I don't want you guys to buy it and then be like, hey, you know, sir, it doesn't fucking work. So we'll let me make sure that it works. Um, <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna... Um, Use a thicker one on the reservoir. So like I'll start it off here and make it a little bit thicker because it's a little bit loose. Hold on boys, let me, let me set up the camera. So it's a little bit loose, but uh, I like to make it a little bit uh, thicker by starting it off and then I'll finish tightening it up here. Gonna make sure I put the other cap on the radiator. I got a new cap for the radiator. Okay, you gotta make sure you guys close the valves up <laughs> or else it'll never seal. You see the hose? The hose is all sucked in and it is holding pressure. All right, I'm gonna close the valves up and then the gauge should stay there for a little bit. Uh, if there was a leak, the gauge would be uh, falling down, but it looks like it's holding properly. Looks good. All right, looks good. So it is holding pressure. Um, it is not popping off or anything weird like that. So it looks like this thing is holding up, no problem. All right. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is just fill it up and uh, should be good to go. Let me get some coolant. Okay, gentlemen. Got the refiller on the reservoir. Holding pressure. Got the coolant over here. So uh, I'm gonna open it up. <coughs> Fuck. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see it. Give me one second, let me uh, hold this thing. Okay. Fucking Christ. Okay. <sighs> Coolant. Filler. Okay. 27 PSI. We're going to open it up. Let all the coolant go in. 
There we go. The filler and the adapter work beautifully, no issues. Sucked in about two gallons of coolant, almost two gallons. We're gonna re uh, refill it once, uh, once I get all this stuff off. It should be good to go. Oh yay. Everything keeps falling, boys. Everything keeps falling. Okay, everything's back together. Uh, we're gonna put, just top off the reservoir with a little bit of coolant once we remove the, the filler. And uh, it should be good to go. Yeah, so this thing did its job. It worked beautifully. The system's refilled. Um, we're gonna just top it off when we start the truck up, make sure everything's good. We still have to refill the transmission with fluid. Um, but once we do that, it should be good to go. This, be this thing be worked beautifully. This thing worked beautifully. I love it. Um, like I said, I do have the right adapter for this reservoir, but I wanted to demonstrate how this thing worked. It works beautifully. I like it. Uh, I recommend you guys buy it, especially if you guys are new in the field and don't have all the adapters that you guys need yet. That thing will come in handy. All right, boys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.